Wow. And it's that easy, huh? Wow. <laughs> I'm always very impressed by the Raspberry Pi community, and this is just another milestone pie kiss. Oh my goodness, is this such a great script to add to your Raspberry Pi. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna install the Twister operating system, and then I'm gonna install the Pi kiss, and then I'm gonna install Mario 64, port with just one click of a button, Dune, games, turn your Pi into a server. All this stuff is just, it's so simple to do now with this new Pi Kiss. So let's check it out, it's amazing. So I went to my web browser, I downloaded the Twister OS, I downloaded the 1.3. After you download it, you should be left with a .xz. I went ahead and 7-zip extracted it to its own folder and here's my IMG file, image file. I put in a 64 gigabyte SD card, but really you could, so we want E, 64 gigabyte, okay. So we're gonna format our SD card, format successful. I'm just gonna use Win32 for this and uh, we'll find, we wanna make sure we have it on the right drive and there's our Twister operating system. Twister on our H drive, right, yes. I just let this go ahead and write. It looks fast, small file, so about four or five minutes. Okay, the password is Raspberry. All right, so it is GitHub slash JM. I'll put a link in the description slash PyKiss. Let's go ahead and see if we can run the install and uh, feel free to donate to them. Very cool stuff. So we're gonna get the script. Supposedly you can make a, a very easy, so, so supposedly he added games, Super Mario 64. So let's see, this was an even easier way to, um, to keep it simple, stupid. Um, cool. It could have happened to me. What are some users have said about Pi? It could only happen to me. That's silly. I don't need to fight the terminal anymore. Shut up. Take my money. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get this code to work. Let's just go to our terminal over here. You can't copy like with the keyboard shortcuts. So. Wow. Easy enough. Um, you might want to lay, run the just enter into the directory with PyKiss. Okay. So. I guess there's my shortcut. Pi kiss. Open terminal here. And it's saying git pool. Already up to date. Cool. Um, so that's it. So now I guess we want to run it. And then let's open it up. Okay. There we go. You just got to run a bash script it'll open it up so i'm looks like you have tweaks cpu i'm already overclocked as you saw earlier in the video but games let's go ahead and install that super mario wow and it's that easy huh wow okay so there you go, uh, freaking easy, 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 easy. Press enter, let's go back to the main menu here. Let's go ahead and also install, see some other games. We have uh, Duke Nukem, Revolt, Diablo 1 and 2, Dune 2, that was my jam. I think there's, you know, the Command and Conquer version. It's really nice. Wow. They even have the ad blocker to turn your Raspberry Pi into an ad block. Wow, all this stuff that a lot of people would be turned off by Linux and just the Raspberry Pi in general. Freaking amazing. Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. Doesn't get any simpler than that. Easily overclock, overclock your RAM, your CPU, your GPU. Look at these games, Mario 64. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Duke Nukem. Uh, 3D running great, no lag. Diablo 1 and 2, Dune 2, uh, Descent, a lot of really great ports here. Um, install your emulators just right off the bat, straight onto your desktop. 
So Final Burn Alpha, your CPS 1, 2, and 3s, MSX, Game Boy Advance, Amiga, DOSBox, ZX Spectrum. Um, you have uh, MAME and Advanced MAME and MAME for all for your you know arcade games. SNES 9X 1.6 or Super Nintendo. You got the Pico Drive, which runs, I think, Sega 32X and a couple others. Maybe Sega CD, I forget. But a lot of those Sega systems. And then um, Amstrad. Pretty cool stuff. Um, Wow, that's really nice. And then you can always install PP, SSPP, and Redream on your own. The internet is very simple. Multimedia. Cody. Nice. Easy. Install there. Set up your Wi-Fi. Configure your monitor, your TV. Nice. Turn it into a server. Devs. There's a free widget tool, QT5. What is what's in others? Oh, nice. Check your SD card. Share one keyboard. Map. Nice. Some cool stuff to check out there. We just installed Doom and Super Mario. And oh, wow, look at all that. I downloaded Doom, Heretic. Dune and Super Mario 64. Super Mario 64, we already showed you. It's working great. I showed you that in a previous video. Especially if you overclock, no lag. It might have a little lag at first. If you want to overclock, you can overclock through PyKiss, as I showed you. Also, the um, this operating system has the overclock built into it as well. You can set that up here. Um, let's go ahead and check out those other games, though. Right, let me exit out of that. Dune Legacy. Single player, skirmish, start. Yes, sir. Yes. Ooh, these graphics could use a an overhaul. Yes, sir. Doesn't age as well as you thought. Look at that pathing. All right. Wow. Doom. Do, do, do. Oh. Report. Infantry out. Moving out. Moving Kill him. Infantry out. Moving out. <laughs> okay. So, um, how do you exit? There you go. All right. Dune works, and then. Um, Games, crispy doom, or dune works, and now we're gonna do doom. I guess you can't. Can you not aim with your mouse? I need to turn on mouse controls. Oh well, you guys get the gist of it though. Too bad you're slow. Oh, I'm dying over here. Get some health later. All right, that's working good. I did want to leave this footage in. This is if you just play the game. You can already see it's already choppy here. And this is with uh, no overclock. And just with a really slight overclock on the pie, it's about to jump into the game. And then right here is going to be overclocked so just get a decent case and uh, you'll see a significant difference just a slight overclock on this game we'll go ahead and leave a little gameplay to show you how well it plays on the pi 4. So there you have it. This is the Twister operating system adding Pi Kiss. And between the two, this is a super capable, you know, entry level way to approach Raspberry Pi, whether it's gaming 
a server, the many different, the tinkering, whatever, to learn how to code, many, many different applications here. I'm loving it, really cool. I'll put a link to the developer's GitHub. If you feel like donating, that would be really cool. And uh, I'm just excited to where this goes from here. It just makes it more and more accessible and grows the community further. So with all that said, awesome stuff. I'm enjoying it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.